Hi, this is Erne from Modeler. Today I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions about Modeler, which is how can we add different mix of apartment uses or apartment units within a single building without creating a complex or mixed use building. Now, since this functionality is not yet part of Modeler, we can take advantage of Modeler's built-in live sync uh, to Excel functionality, which will help us get to the result that we want. As you can see here, I have already created a simple uh, development. And in the right uh, part, I already have my Excel file where I have defined a few different apartment typologies, like one bedroom, two bedroom, three and five. I have assigned different sizes of apartments and also different parking requirements. Now, I have also connected these uh, building gross floor areas to the data that is coming out from my modeler model. So whenever I change something in my model, it gets updated in this modeler live data part. And then this mixing user step takes this data and then calculates the results. So you can see here, I have the building number two uh, selected and now when I change it, you will see the data in Excel gets updated on the fly. Whenever I change my building, so let's do something like that, you can see the data gets updated. And now this gives me a lot of flexibility when it comes to how these different units are calculated within a single building. We can have multiple buildings. Here, the important part is that we are using the VLOOKUP to get to the GFA of specific building and that's it, right? And now the tool uh, or this kind of functionality also gives me the ability to quickly change the ratio of different apartment units uh, within the same building. So right now here in the yellow parts, uh, I can just change the number and you can see that the formulas here recalculate what is then my relative ratio and also give me the number of apartments and parking spaces. Here I have a simple graph to show me how this affects the, the total number. So whenever I change something, so let's take the three bedroom apartments out of this building, zero, you can see everything gets updated on the fly. So I can do something like that. Again, the data here gets updated. And this way I can also quickly test different design alternatives. So let's go here to option two. You can see that I have a bit different development suggestion uh, or alternative. And this also works when I have just a part of the complex building. So let me go here, scale this part up. And then again, you can see that this is BU1, meaning that here you can see whenever I change it, the data gets updated. So yeah, that's it. Uh, please find the link to the Excel file and example SketchUp file in the notes of this video. Thank you and bye bye.